A group of journalists was taken to the crash site, situated between 300 to 400 meters from the perimeter fence of the airport runway. Mia Davids, head of corporate communications at the Namibia Airport's company, says the light aircraft took off from the Eros Airport and was supposed to land at the Oseakutako International Airport, but crashed and completely burned to ashes. The accident occurred at 11 past 10 in the morning, but Davids could not say what was the cause of the crash. A preliminary report will only be released once all the information has been collected, which could take up to 30 days. Forensic investigators were at the scene and are collecting information to help with investigations. Unfortunately, all three passengers on board perished. So what they then did was that they just um, put out the remaining fire. Uh, it is now an official si uh, crime scene. It is now under investigation with the Directorate of Airport um, Aircraft Incidents and also with Nampo. A statement released by ONL Group Chairman Sven Time expressed shock at the tragic accident and extended the company's condolences to the families, friends and colleagues of the deceased. The names of the two other deceased could not be released as their next of kin are yet to be informed. Investigations into the accident continue.